Now that we've logged in, chosen a portion of the page to edit, and edited some text, now the next step is uploading a file that we have on our computer, a document, and then providing a way for visitors to our website to click on a link that links to that file so they can download it and print it out or save it to their computer if necessary. The first thing to do is to enter some text to use to make that link possible. So in this case I've typed some example text here. The text could be appropriate for whatever the topic of your document is, whatever the purpose of your document is, and that's going to be different for every document. So in this case, I'll just use this example text. Once I've typed the text, now the, the link I'm going to use, or the, the, the tool I'm going to use within Omni Update to make this text into a link is this Insert Edit Link button up here. At the moment, it's grayed out. It's unavailable. It's because I haven't actually selected anything that I'm going to use as the link. So let me highlight this text here, and you'll notice that button up on the toolbar that I was just pointing at is now going to become available. Now it's available. If I deselect the text, it grays out. If I select the text, it becomes available. So once I've highlighted the text I want to use as my link, I'll click on the Insert Edit Link button, and I want to browse for a file. Now you can use this Browse button here to browse for a file that's already on the web server and in the directory of your website. I could actually just scroll down here and pick something, like here's a document. I could just pick that, select it, click insert, and now that's a that's a link to that Word document. But what if that's not, a, not what I want to do? I want to upload something. Well, I'll just highlight my link, click on insert or edit link, browse, and then rather than selecting from an existing item in this list, I'll click on upload and the file upload window appears and I want to browse for a file from my computer so I'll click browse. So now, regard, now depending on the operating system that you're using you will get a file browse window that appears specific to your operating system. This is a Windows computer so I'm seeing a Windows Explorer type of view. So here's my example PDF. So I'll just click on that once and click open and then click upload. Once the file is uploaded Omni Update will give me a confirmation letting me know it was successfully uploaded. Now here's the name of my file, so I need to remember the name of my file. The reason I need to know the name of it is because this file list is alphabetical. This one starts with the letter E, so I'll click OK, and I'll scroll down to the letter E. So here's A, B, and there's example.pdf. So I'll click on that. It shows me over here my, my file. I'll, once I have it selected, I notice it's in bold. I'll click on Select File and Insert. So now I've made a link to the document I just uploaded. Now if I want to test that, make sure that it works from the web page, I'll click on Save. I just scroll down in this preview window here. Here I can see the unordered, the ordered list that I created in the previous video. And here's a link to my example PDF. So if I click on that, here's the PDF that I uploaded. Now, if I had more than one link to more than one document, maybe I have two or three or five or 20, then I can go back to the preview by clicking preview here. I can scroll down, click on my next link, come back and click preview to get back to my page, scroll down, click a link, and so on. So you can go back and forth. And so that is how to link to a document that you've uploaded using OmniUpdate's OU Campus.